cylinder reciprocating engine has a reciprocating mass <coughs> of 60 kg so right m1 is reciprocating mass the crank rotates at 60 rpm so omega equals to 2 pi n that is 60 divided by 60 is equal to 2 pi per second the stroke is 320 stroke is 2 times of crank radius crank radius is 160 half of the stroke the mass of revolving part at 160 mm radius that is the mass of revolving part so that equals to what this one is r the revolving mass is r so let's say m2 is revolving mass 40 kg and what is the corresponding radius of this one i will call this one as r1 and i will call this as r2 this is same as 160 r2 r same value that is the crank radius next two third of the parts to be balanced means value of c is what 2 by 3 that is 0.667 and the whole of the revolving parts to be balanced whole of the revolving part to be balanced so how much you want to balance you want to balance two third of reciprocating plus are you interested in balancing 100% of revolving so how much mass you want to balance is 2 by 3 of m1 plus m2 2 by 3 of 60 plus 40 80 80 kg and the whole of the revolving parts to be balanced determine the balance mass required at the radius equal to what 350 what is rb we are having a balance mass at where 350 and you want to find out unbalanced force when theta equals to what 50 So we have total mass m to be balanced by this mass mb. This is usually at radius equal to what? r equal to r1 equal to r2 and the balancing mass at radius equal to rb. So we have centrical force of this must equal to centrical force of this. So we have m into omega square multiplied by r must equals to mb multiplied by omega square multiplied by rb m is equals to 80 r was given in mm so we will continue in mm and mb we don't know omega square is cancelled rb is 350 so for the given job the required mass of balance mass is unbalanced force along the line of action of force m1 will give trouble so m1 multiplied by omega square multiplied by r multiplied by cos theta because this component is cos and i will immediately write down the second answer because i will do the both calculations simultaneously perpendicular to line of action will be equals to c multiplied by m1 into omega square multiplied by r and this component is what sin theta so multiplied by sin theta and i think i need to find out at 50 degree so both this value i want to solve for theta equals to so substitute for c equal to 2 by 3 m1 equal to 60 omega equal to 2 by square r equal to 0.16 into cos of 50 and check this answer is what is this answer 193.55 so what is resultant force is pythagoras to this is under root of 81.2 square plus 193.5 whole square return unbalanced force when theta equals to what 90